<laughs> Norm, I'm setting you up, brother. I am setting you up. My goal for Norm is that he's done by 8.27. So let's see if you can do that. Let's give Norm a big round of applause. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, we all get stressed, especially when Rock is running the um, And it's really easy to find yourself out of balance. Would you agree? So we got to learn to take like a kind of a helicopter view of things and bring ourselves back to balance. And we do that, hopefully we do that through setting goals. So let's talk about some goals for a second here. Norm, can you use the microphone? I could, if you'd like me to. Is that better? Okay, good. So success is goals, right? But Everything else is commentary, it's just conversation. You've got to have goals. And your goals are going to change, and they have to be uh, replaceable. But what do you do with your goals? Number one, you've got to write them down. How many people really set themselves goals in their personal life <coughs> and their business life? Because we're talking about both here. And you really write them down, and you look at them every single day, and you make plans to achieve them. How many people do that in this room? Not very many, okay? So let's talk a little bit more now about goals. You gotta unlock the potential that you have, because everybody in this room has potential to do more in their personal life and in their business life. So anyway, you do it, but you gotta create your own world. Isn't that right, Bonnie? Yes, you do it every day for businesses so they don't die, right? Okay. Why do we set goals, you know? Why do we set them? Maybe people believe that goals are unimportant, so they don't set a goal. They don't know how, and that's easy to do. Bonnie can help you. There's a lot of people in this room. Rock can certainly help you. Any one of his advisors can if you're looking for financial support, or Lee can on the insurance side, or Renee can. Fear of failure. Everybody fears failure. You can't fear failure. You shouldn't feel fear of failure. It's ridiculous because I don't know anybody in this world that hasn't that's successful that hasn't failed sometime in their life, personally or professionally. And they fear like they're being rejected. That's ridiculous. Nobody can upset you if you don't permit yourself to be upset. Nobody can reject you if you don't permit yourself to be rejected. Happiness is the progressive realization of more of the ideal or goal. Earl Nightingale, not more modern. He knows a lot more than I do. Yes? What's your suggestion on setting aside the time to review it every day? Because I think that's a big miss, at least for me personally, is not continuing to look Every at single morning when you get up and you look yourself in the mirror, you've got to take a look at your goals. I do it every single day. Every single day. And my goals change as my life changes. If life circumstances change, if business circumstances change, I've retired now. I only have one client now. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm glad to help anybody in this room anytime, like, anytime you need help. But I'm done. I'm over. So now I set goals and I constantly change goals for my new life. <clears throat> and every day is a new life for me, right, Don? <clears throat> so look in the mirror. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look in the mirror. Look at your goals. And if you need to change them, change them. But, and if you make a goal and you achieve your goal, what do you have to do? Somebody tell me. Celebrate. Do what? Celebrate. Yeah, but what else? New goal. New goal. Who said new goal? All right. You get the Starbucks card. Yeah, give that man a hand. All right. So let's take a look here. Free yourself from the negative emotions. Everybody complains. They bitch about this. They bitch about that. Forget it. Free yourself from it. Quit justifying. Quit rationalizing. Quit being so hypersensitive about things. And quit blaming somebody else. And stop blaming yourself. Just get up and do something different. Because it's in your hands. Agree or disagree? Agree. All right. That's good. Clarify your values. What are your values? And there's five levels of personality. 
your values, your beliefs, your expectations, your attitude, and your actions. So, know what you really want. A lot of people just can't figure out what they really want in life. You've got to sit down with yourself and have an honest conversation and find out what you really want. Know what you believe in. Rock knows what he believes in. He wrote The Freedom Economy. He believes in his religion. He believes in his family. He believes in his employees. And he believes in his business. And he believes in himself. Determine what your heart really desires. Follow the path that's going to make you the happiest. It's not all about money. It's about being happy. And be true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Have that conversation with yourself and say, wait a minute, I need to do better with this. I need to do that. Do your own SWOT inventory of yourself. You do it for your business, or you should. You should be doing it for yourself at a cons on a consistent basis. Analyze what your beliefs are. <coughs> If you change your thinking, you're going to change your life. I've heard Rock say that several times. Okay. Think of yourself differently than you do now. Select what beliefs you truly want to have. And you know what? Stop looking for the bad. Start looking for the good. It's easy to find bad things, but it's easier to find good things. It truly is. The only thing that stands between a man and what he wants from life is often merely the will to try it and the faith to believe that it's possible. Amen. I got some amens going back here. Thank you. Create your own future. You don't get a Starbucks card. All right. <laughs> Think about what your future is. And your future changes every day. Every single day. Stop compromising on your dreams. You want to build your business? Do something about it. You want to change your personal life? Do something about it. Forget the excuses. Stop compromising. <laughs> Practice no limit thinking. Just do it like Nike said. And create your own future, business and personal. And I'll tell you, it's more important in your personal life than it is your business life. You can always make money. That's just pieces of paper and coins. Your personal life is so important. So there's some keys to goal setting. Don, you want to read the seven keys to goal setting? I can't read. You can't read? Who can read? Bonnie can read. I can read. Goals must be clear, specific, detailed, and written down. Want me to keep going? Yeah, go ahead. Measurable and objective. Must be time-bound. Goals must be challenging. Goals must be congruent with your values and in harmony with each other. Goals must be balanced. You must have a major definite purpose for your life. How many people in this room have a definite purpose for their life to find the goals that make it happen? Why doesn't everybody have that? Rock, you have it. I know your daughter Jenna, who's brilliant, has it. We've talked many times on the phone. Decide upon your major definite purpose. So let's see who's going to read that. Doctor, please read this. All right. Uh, your major definite purpose, defined as the one goal that is the most important to you at the moment. What does that mean to you? I, you have to make a decision, uh, you know, really where you want to go and what is truly down deep important. Okay, keep going. Characteristics. It must be something you personally really want. It must be clear and specific. It must be measurable and quantifiable. It must be both believable and achievable. It should have a reasonable probability of success, perhaps 50-50. It must be in harmony with your other goals. Think about your goals. So my friend Kevin back there and standing next to him is having a heart attack if you give him a way. Yeah, I know. It's hard yeah, to see. Uh, Starbucks is hard to When some of his friends drink Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want the doctor. Give one to Regali because he needs to wake up so he can read. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And I'll give one to Miss Chicago. Okay, that's good. Start at the beginning, folks. Your current net worth. Not just financially, emotionally. 
Develop your long-term financial plans, and obviously Rock and Mike and Patty and Tyler can help you with that, like they helped Bree and I, so I can stand up here and say I'm retired and do whatever I want to do. Evaluate each area of your life. Determine your level of skills and ability, and put together your own strategic plan. And if you need help with this, call me. I'll be glad to help you. It doesn't cost you anything. Set and achieve all your financial goals. Don't delude yourself. Take charge of your money, right, Rock? <laughs> okay. Set a series of short, medium, and long-term goals. Make plans for their achievement and discipline yourself to follow your plan no matter how difficult or distant your goals. Doctor, you want to read this by Zig Ziglar? Money may not be the most important thing in life, but it's way up there with oxygen. It certainly is. It certainly is. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Become an expert in your field. So the iron law of self-development, identify the knowledge you will, develop your talents, and practice, practice, practice. You want to read this for me, please, sir? You Starting always, with you will always be. Good. You will always be best and happiest at something that you love to do. Agreed? Yep. Yes. yes. Okay. You do it well. Yep. It is something that was easy for you to learn and easy to do. Agreed? Yep. Yes. It holds your attention. You love to learn about it and become better at Agreed? it. Agreed? Yes. When you do it, time stands still. Agreed? Yes. You really admire and respect other people who are good at what you are most suited to do. Good. Now read Melvin Powers. The uncommon man is merely the common man thinking and dreaming of success. Thank you. And in more fruitful areas. We'll be done soon. We'll make it rock. Okay. Improve your family life and your relationships. How important is that, Rock? Very important. Why? Well, because at the core of what you're all about, and that energy just brings out everything that you talk about. It is what you're all about. Design your ideal family life and relationships. You can do that. And you have to communicate with one another to make that happen. Determine the obstacles that you'll have to overcome to create the ideal family life. And never, ever, ever ever give up. So the key to success in building a wonderful family lifestyle is simple. Get going and keep going and communicate with one another. Optimize your health and your wellness. Get into the zone. You're responsible for your life and your health. Set yourself deadlines and make yourself a plan of action to make that happen. Measure your progress. You measure your progress with KPIs in your business, key performance indicators, or you sure as heck should be. So you got to measure your progress. What are the three keys to that, sir? Commitment. When you make a commitment to achieve a goal, you will be more creative, determined, and focused than before. Agreed? Completion. You must discipline yourself and push through completion. Agreed? Be dependable to yourself and be dependable to other people. And if you can measure it in your business and in your personal life, you can do what? Change it. Change it. Thank you. Get rid of those stinking roadblocks. You know, temporary failure always precedes success. So problem solving is a skill. If you don't know how to solve problems, talk to Bonnie. Set big challenging goals. Organize your obstacles by priority. A1, A2 goes back to the old ways that they used to do it. And almost every problem can be solved. Associate with the right people. Stop. Get away from negative people. Nobody does it alone, but get away from negative people. They drag you down. Get together with people that are successful, that are more successful than you. Invest in that relationship building. You do it here. Work with people that are successful. Network professionally. Think and plan long term. Get around the right people and associate yourself with winners. Would you read this, please? By Orson Sweet Martin. 
your outlook upon life, your estimate of yourself, your estimate of your value are largely colored by your environment. Your whole career will be modified, shaped, molded by your surroundings, by the character of the people with whom you come in contact every day. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Make a plan of action. How many people have an, an action plan for their business? Most of you, but not all of you. How many of you change it when it needs to be changed? Some of you. It pays off. It's the basis of all great achievements. Planning saves time and it saves you money. It, you've got to be able to determine what the cr cr critical results will be. Jack's a lawyer. He can talk to you about critical results and about planning. He's never going to go to court. He's never going to go to a client. He's never going to go to anybody unless he's ahead of the game. So planning is the key to success, folks. Good timing, and, Norm, because they have to get to Waukegan Courthouse. Yeah. Well, run like the wind, because your guy's going to go to jail for sure. I'm not his guy. Right? And you left all those women? Ra raise your hand if you're really phenomenal in time management. Hey, I am. That's because you got Stephanie. All right? Use advanced planning. Separate the urgent from the important. What's really urgent? What's really important? Practice single-handing on each task. What does that mean? What does single-handing mean? Somebody read it. Single-handing means that once you have selected your most important task, you start on that task with single-minded concentration until it is 100% complete. Absolutely right. You should only touch a piece of paper on your desk once. And that's it. Norm, is this a good place to stop? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> review your goals. You know you got to review your goals. You know, you're older than I am, and I need to respect you. I'm older than dirt. We're almost done. I still got three minutes. No. Look at the damn clock. It's your clock. <laughs> visualize your goals. You've got to visualize your goals. You have to do that. All right. I'm visualizing you being done at 827. You think? Yes. No, 8.30. Activate your success conscious mind. And by the way, if you see me afterward, if you want slides on this, I'll send you the slides, okay? But there, there's three special qualities of a super conscious idea or solution. And it answers every aspect of the problem. It'll be a blinding flash of the obvious. And it'll give you a burst of happiness and excitement and exhilaration. Persist until you succeed. 827. Yeah. We're waiting till 830. I'm not in your church. Take action today. Something is up.